guys, Coach Sue here with Physique Development, and today I'm going to talk about the show day look. Uh, this is something I wasn't sure would be a good video, but I had a lot of questions on kind of how I chose my suit color, how I chose my makeup, how I chose everything kind of going together. So I thought I'd walk you guys through it um, and be able to give you some tips for any first time competitors, or even if you've competed and still feel like you haven't hit the right look. Um, so one thing here is going to be to try different looks. Um, I'm gonna kind of start from the beginning and then work my way to the fact of trying different looks. But one thing when you first get started and you're like, where do I start with competing? Uh, one of the first things that you can do is go ahead and go on angelcompetitionsbikini.com and they will send you a package for free um, that shows kind of the different cuts of the suit. And then you can pick different fabrics and then different crystals that you wanna see as well. Um, so you can kind of get a feel for what you want your suit to look like. Um, when it comes to the suits, they are, might, it might seem like there's a million different things you have to decide. It's not just deciding on suit color, it's deciding on shape and size. And if you want um, like, breast implant cups put in there. Um, if you have a shorter torso, if you need a high rise suit, what cut should the back of the suit be? What color connectors? What should the connectors look like? All these different things where it's like, man, I thought I was just picking out a suit. Um, so from Angel Competitions Bikini, you can not only get the different jewels and the different suit colors where you're trying to decide, um, it's something that they also send um, the bottom cutout of the suit so you can see what's going to suit you best. Um, and for picking a color and kind of deciding even what color swaps to pick, um, you can email Angel Competition Bikinis and they can kind of go through um, what colors they think would look good on you and be able to give their advice because they have been making suits and working with uh, Olympians and very competitive competitors um, and being able to see what they have to say because they do have an eye for that stuff. For me, I had started Starting off, I was just like, I want to wear maroon. And so that was what I did is I just went on a site, I picked out a maroon suit and that was it. Then the second time that I competed, it was something that I saw someone wear this gorgeous suit and I was like, I want that. Um, and it was gorgeous and it looked great on me, but it didn't look the absolute best on me on stage. Um, so that's another factor you need to take into consideration is how the suit can change. So with this suit, this is one where the actual material of it is green. The crystals on it are a green and blue. So from the camera, you can probably already see it picking up a few different colors. And then also think about what this would look like under bright stage lights, then being able to see, okay, what would it look after my complexion is way darker? Um, what's it gonna look like if the background color is red or if it's blue or if it's green? Um, and then also being able to think about the stage lights, which I already mentioned, but sometimes it makes your suit look a completely different color. So I have pictures of my suit looking two completely different colors the same season on two different stages that I'll pop up here and here, where in one, it looks like I'm wearing a very dark green suit. And in other ones, it looks like I'm wearing a blue suit. I'll also pop up a picture of me just wearing it and some different lighting around my house or in the hotels because it shows that this suit shows up multiple different colors. So that's something else to think about. It's not just the color that you see, or, oh, I picked out a green color fabric, so it's gonna be a green suit. Cause this shows up all different shades of greens and blues on stage. Um, now, when it comes to picking your color and picking the correct color, some different things you need to keep in mind are gonna be your complexion. You might think, well, everyone's gonna be the same shade of darkness, so why do I need to think about my complexion? But within the color wheel and what color suits you, those are gonna be the same color colors that suit you, even if you do have a stage tan on. Some colors that I would recommend staying away from, well first white and gold are very chancy, um, so if you want to go that route you can, but just letting you know they are very hard colors to pull off. Pastels are ones that I wouldn't recommend or neon are not ones that I would recommend. The reason that you see a lot of girls, especially within, I'm talking about the bikini division, wearing jewel tones is because jewel tones look the absolute best on stage and look best on a multitude of people. People. Now from the jewel tones, you might be like, all right, where do I start? Hair color is gonna be another one. If you have blonde hair, wearing a yellow suit with that is a really hard bet. Um, it's the same thing if you have very dark hair and then you wear a black suit. Um, so you might see like, oh, a lot of girls that have the same hair color as me wear a blue suit, or a lot of girls that have the same hair color as me wear a red suit. That's a great thing to go off of. This is one where you can compare yourself to other people. Most things within fitness and competing and food 
foods, you should not compare yourself, but for this instance, you can. As far as if someone has similar complexion as you and has similar hair color as you, that you can probably wear a similar color suit as them. So it's being able to look at that, look at different girls, look at how they placed. You might see pros even changing the color of their suit all the time, or even I've changed my color of the suit multiple times. And it's like, why would you do that and keep spending the money on these suits? One, it is fun to get a new suit, but it is something that they are pretty pricey. And so being able to find the suit that fits you and different shows, I've tried different things. The reason for going to multiple shows, even if you might already be nationally qualified, can be to get a feedback from the judges because they'll straight up tell you that suit color does not look good on you or your hair does not look good. Because when it comes to bikini, it is the full package. For me, I know in the colors that I wear in day-to-day -day life, I do not wear a ton of yellows or oranges. Um, I was deciding between greens and blues because this is definitely in my color wheel. And it's something that with my hair color, it also goes as well. So being able to kind of compare different hair colors, different people wearing it. And then that's the same thing when it comes to your makeup is you can look at girls with the same color suit and see what makeup they wore. It's not always that you want to be super matchy matchy. So if you have a red suit, you definitely can do like a red lip, but it's not something that because I have a green or blue suit, I'm going to do green and blue eye makeup all the time. Sometimes when I go to the makeup artist, if I hire one, I just say, you're the professional here, do what you think looks best. Or I'll bring them inspiration pictures from other girls who wore similar suit colors and say, hey, I really like this, can you do that? And here's my suit, this is the take I want you to do on it. And then also knowing your own features. I made the mistake of just kind of being like, oh, I like what this girl does, but I realized I didn't take into consideration that I never wear dark eye makeup. And dark eye makeup on me, because I also have hooded eyes, makes it very difficult to see, and then it just makes it look like I have a black eye. So know about yourself different features as far as if you have hooded eyes, if you like a lot of blush, if you don't look good with a lot of blush on, if you have to contour different parts of your face to make it look a certain way. Take that and don't be afraid to tell the makeup artist exactly those things. As far as for me, I never wear bottom eyeliner. And so it's something where I'm like, please be careful within the bottom eyeliner or don't line it all the way into the corner of my eye. You can tell that because you're paying for their service and you wanna look the absolute best on show day. Now, when it comes to hair, something that I'm excited to try out next time I go on stage because I've been seeing more and more girls wear their hair naturally curly is be able to show off naturally curly hair. Now, with that comes its own set of problems in regards to if it's gonna fall flat, you're dealing with a natural curl pattern and making sure it shows up in a way that's going to be presented best can be pretty hit or miss. So for me um, and for you, being able to try out, okay, what part looks better on my hair? So I've tried a middle part, I've tried side parts, being able to see what looks best. I normally wear halo hair extensions um, and being able to have some more length and some more fullness because I have some thinner hair and so it's nice to have that fullness within my hair. And for me, I love the stick straight look um, for hair on stage. I think it looks phenomenal. I've never looked good with stick straight hair. I look the best with a little bit of curl or some framing my face. So again, knowing your features and being able to do some trial and error beforehand. So when you are about to have your wedding, you normally do a trial run with your makeup and hair with the makeup artist before you go into it. While you might not have the luxury of being able to do that with your exact makeup artist, being able to sit in front of the mirror, trying out different makeup looks, trying out different hair, taking pictures and documenting that is going to be the way that you learn from what looks best. Use angel competitions and other suit companies. Use their blogs on the site as far as picking the right color, picking the right gym, picking the right um, connector. I have a small chest, so I'm not going to pick a center connector this long because then they're going to be like, man, she just got pecs on her. Like you're not gonna be able to fake any cleavage there. So for me, picking a very small connector in the front and then completely stuffing this suit with a stuffed animal allows me to have more balance and symmetry because I want to be able to show off a full balance. I don't wanna look like I have a bird chest. Um, so being able to have this smaller connector on front is great because it allows me to, you know, 
push those together. Um, it's something for my bottoms and knowing the cut for your bottom. Like I said, they do have that cut out where you can measure your bottom. I will say that on regional stages, the safest bet you can go is doing Brazilian. I will say that the moderate look really does not look good on anyone um, and it's not going to make your glutes look the absolute best. Being able to do a moderate or the Brazilian cut or the pro cut, some regional shows don't allow pro cut. So this suit is actually a mixture of the Brazilian cut and the pro cut from Angel Competition's bikinis. And you can ask for in-betweens of cuts or you can personalize it as far as that goes. Another thing within the suit bottoms is mine are high rise. I found this out the hard way after my first or second competition where I didn't really measure the length as far as like from here to here on my lower end. Um, and so this rode very, very low on my front to the point where it was like my pelvic bone was like pushing out. So it's something I learned and I learned, okay, the high rise is gonna be best because of the way your torso is, because of the way your pelvis is. Trial and error is gonna be your best bet, but you can also take a sidestep to that by ordering a posing suit. So you can order a PD posing suit from Angel Competitions Bikini with code Sue. But this is a great way to see if your suit is gonna fit the way you want it to. So they come in ways with having the tie bottom. So as you gain weight or lose weight in off season, you don't have to worry about your actual suit bottoms being way too tight on you and making you feel like a stuffed sausage because this is very minimal clothing here. Um, so it allows you to have some room to grow into them. It also allows you to see, okay, does the high rise look best? Because this is the exact replica of my bottoms, the same cut in the back, the same high rise in the front. So I know, okay, this suit suits me really well. It's something that's gonna be a cheaper alternative and also keep consistency within check-in photos um, of being able to try out a posing suit. It's the same thing for this top. It's the same size. It just doesn't have the stuffing in there because I don't really need it to take my check-in pictures. But the cut is a little bit different where I have the ties on the top and the bottom. And when it comes to my suit, I have the ties on the top, but then around the back, I chose to have this connector because I didn't want to have to worry about tying my suit each time. So this allows me to just connect it and then it has adjustable straps right here. And I'm not worrying about the bow being in the middle or not because I've had problems with that before. How do I decide what's gonna be best for me? And Angel Competition, again, they have great email support and customer support. So if you have questions, then you can always ask them. If you're a PD client, then you can ask your coach or you can ask me, sue at physiquedevelopment.com. It's very intensive when you kind of break it all down as far as there's you can change 17 different things on this suit to, to make it a little bit different. Even if it's the same color and design, the suit could suit someone completely differently. So you can always reach out to me and I can always help you with that. And then another thing within show day, outside of hair, outside of suit color, suit cut, makeup, and that comes down to jewelry. So when it comes to jewelry, keep it pretty simple. I will say that I have gotten feedback from judges that they don't like it when there's too much jewelry and it's distracting, or they don't like it when jewelry's uneven. So you see I have multiple bracelets here. At one time I wore a thick bracelet and a thin bracelet, and my judge feedback was wear the same size bracelet. So wearing the same size bracelets if you're gonna wear one on each arm or just wearing one bracelet. Um, another hack here is bracelet is great to cover up your watch tan line because even though you get the spray tan over it, we all know that if you wear a watch all the time, you still have the tan line. So a bracelet is a great way to cover that. So normally one to two bracelets, then wearing a ring is a great one to add on and just having a ring on one finger. Um, so normally just throwing it on my middle or my ring finger and having that ring on for that blend and then the other ones here are being able to have earrings. So there's multiple different earrings out there. You can go very simple um, and doing something small like this, but you also wanna think about the full package. And you normally do see girls with these bigger earrings here. So these are what my earrings are. One thing I would tell you to keep in mind here is making sure that it doesn't go past where your clavicle or your shoulder is because you don't want it to get caught in your suit. First of all, it can get caught in the top of your suit. You also don't don't want it to distract from the rest of your physique. So being able to think if it is distracting in any way, it's probably not distracting in a good way. If it is anything where someone's like, something looks off about the earrings, it's normally not a good thing. You don't want to be distracting. You just want everything to be streamlined, but it's enough bling to fit the bikini criteria, to fit the package. Um, and it's something that's thin enough that I'm not getting irritated as far as it bumping over. And again, it's not getting caught in my suit because it's not that long. So pick something that suits you the best. Now I don't own 
costume jewelry like this that I wear on a day-to-day -day basis, but this shape does suit what my jewelry looks like than it would for some other things that I would try. So be able to use your best judgment, being able to utilize your coach or me if you're a physique development client, being able to use customer support on these bikini websites, being able to get a posing suit, which is great, and then being able to compare yourself. This is the only time I'll say that you can compare yourself is choosing your show day look. So again, even though our suit colors or our, our tan complexion might end up the same, someone like Chanel, who was able to rock a yellow suit and it looked phenomenal on her, it was a joke because it was the fact of if I ever tried to wear a yellow suit, it would look absolutely ridiculous. It is not in my color palette. I never wear yellow really ever. I don't even know if I own much yellow. Chanel, not only does it match her complexion and she wears it on her day-to-day -day basis, she feels confident and powerful and yellow and for me a green or a blue is something I can feel secure and confident in there's a lot that goes into it but at the end of the day picking what makes you feel best in the whole bikini package so I hope that this was helpful and like I said if you're a physique development client and you need some more guidance you can email me sue at physiquedevelopment.com and if you are not a physique development client um, then you can definitely email customer support from angel competitions bikini to get some guidelines or some help as far as picking your suit